Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another unboxing. This time it's going to be LTE antennas for the MR600 router. Here on this box I actually have the omnidirectional as well as the Yagi antenna. Now Yagi antenna is a large antenna and it comes with a very good packaging. Let's quickly open the package. Now the reason why uh, I am going to do this is because there were a couple of people requesting for comparison between different antennas. So here I thought let's try comparing it with Omni, LPDA as well as the Yagi antennas. Now Yagi antennas do give you a better gain. So that's, that's one advantage that I'm going to cover at the end of the video. So here I also have the rubber deck antenna along with that I have the Emma 400 cable for the 400 size cable are pretty thick thicker than the Emma 200 so the smaller boxes are the omnidirectional antenna and the larger one is the Yagi antenna I'm gonna quickly unbox both of these now I got this from uh, Signify RF Solutions. I leave a link in the description below with the contact details. You could go check them out. They do deal with antennas. They do deal with telecom products. So you could certainly reach out to them for any of your uh, necessity. So if you look at the omnidirectional antenna specification, it has a frequency range between 700 to 2700 megahertz, and it has a gain of 12 dB. Now. The reason why these are called omnidirectional antennas is because they tend to receive signals on all directions. On the top of the antenna you have the SRFS logo and the antenna is made up of fiber plastic and the base is aluminium. Along with that you have the N female type connector with which you have to connect it to your router. The antennas weigh pretty light, it's almost 800 grams, close to 800 grams. You have the specification again on it. Along with the antennas, you do also get the mounting brackets. If you haven't checked my previous LPDA antenna video out, I would suggest you to go check that out because that would give you a better understanding of what exactly we are trying to do here. You get the mounting brackets with which you would be able to mount this on a pole. In this video guys, we are going to compare the speed between the Omni as well as the LPDA. Uh, I'm just going to do the Omni directional antenna speed test at the end of the video. Uh, I have good hopes for the Yagi antenna. Now, when do you tend to use these Omni directional antennas is because if you live in a city, and if you live uh, congested and you don't have a direct line of sight for your cell tower. So in that situation, you could use the omnidirectional antenna so that it can, it can receive signals uh, which are being reflected, bounced, or you have multiple cell towers available. So you could use those. Or if you want to switch provider every time, then you could use this. So that's the LMR 400 cable. And uh, this is the end male connector which goes connected to your uh, antenna. And the other end is the SMA male connector which gets connected to your TP-Link router. Now in this case guys you don't have to use only this with a TP-Link router. If you have any other router, maybe a Huawei router, then you could certainly use these antennas even in those 4G modems. That would certainly increase your speeds. Yes, this is the Yagi antenna, and I'm gonna quickly fast forward the unboxing because I didn't, I don't want to bore you guys with the unboxing. The antenna is pretty large. If you see how large it is, it's it's as large as my table. Along with the antenna, you do also get the mounting bracket, and the antenna is wrapped in the polythene cover let's quickly unwrap that now guys the Yagi antenna has a gain of almost 25 db now when do you use this these antennas are has to be pointed towards the line of sight of the cell tower even if the cell tower is pretty far away these can uh, these can actually get more 
signals they can boost your signals and uh, these these are pretty helpful in rural areas where you have cell towers which are far and if you want to enjoy the 4g speeds of your mobile network you could certainly use yagi antennas along with the yagi antennas you do get the mounting bracket now one thing guys yagi antennas weigh a lot so it's better that you have a solid mounting uh, pole at the end of the video i'll show you how my mounting system is in this video we are just going to compare it with the omnidirectional antennas i'm not going to install the yagi antenna in this video but stay tuned in the next video i'll be able to compare the speed after using the yagi antenna so these are the two antennas now let me bring the omnidirectional antenna. If you see the size of the omnidirectional antenna, guys, it's actually 20% uh, of the Yagi antenna. So omnidirectional are small and uh, these are pretty advantages for people those who live in city. Uh, now, I'm going to have this installed on my third floor. And if you remember, I had previously installed the LPDA antenna. That's the LMR 200 cable. And if you see, that's the LMR 400 cable and if you look at the size difference guys, LMR 400 actually is very thicker uh, than the 200. The reason why you have to use thick signal, uh, thick wire is because there is less signal drops. If you're going to stretch your wire to a long distance, then it's always better to use a thicker cable. I'm thinking of mounting the directional antenna directly to the wall because I already live in the third floor so I think that I should be able to get a better signals but after installing guys I did the little modification which I would also show it to you if you live maybe on the fourth floor or something then you could directly mount it on to the wall I'm just putting a pilot hole so that I could use the drill bit correctly Now guys, if you remember uh, the power work, uh, that's the portable uh, power bank or rather an inverter with the built-in batteries. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. This can actually run the drill as well without a problem. Now for now, I'm just going to drill one hole because I, just, I, I did want to test how good it is before I drill all the holes. After putting the hole, I put the wall plug and then I screwed it in. First, I connected using the LMR 200 cable. But then I realized that it might not be able to give me better speed. So then I changed it to the LMR 400 cable. That's the LPD antenna which I just removed. So I brought this cable directly out of my uh, room. Uh, there was a small hole uh, to connect the terrace with my room. So uh, I put the wires using through that hole. But I can't actually use the LMR 400 cable through the through the hole because the cables are very thick. So I have to drill another hole for now. I'm not going to uh, drill any holes because I just want to test it out. So after installing the cable, I did put a tape onto the connection so that it doesn't uh, the water doesn't go inside. Then what I did, guys, the speed wasn't that very good. So I actually raised up this uh, antennas using a PVC pipe and uh, the distance between both the antennas is close to 1.5 meters so i think that should be pretty sufficient uh, the distance between two antennas and then i'm here i'm using the lmr 400 cable the the pipe that i'm using is of 1.5 diameter and it's pretty thick and pretty solid so i don't think it, this would rock very much when there is a when there's a gust of wind 
and then I actually brought the cables directly out of my window. As I mentioned, I didn't drill any holes at this point in time, but I directly bought it through the window. But if you look at the LMR 200 cable, I, I had a hole already, so I pushed it through that, but these cables are pretty thick. Now let's quickly run to the speed test. Guys, when I did the speed test, uh, I actually was not quite happy with the results. If you look at the speed test, or rather if you look at the uh, description here, I'm actually using the Airtel network and it's band aggregated. So I'm connected to band 3 and band 40. And if you look at the values here, values are pretty okay. Uh, but compared to LPDA antennas, I believe that omnidirectional antenna actually wasn't that uh, helpful. It didn't boost much of the speed. Uh, it was okay, but uh, LPDA's antenna does give me better speeds, better, better speeds than the omnidirectional antennas. So let me just quickly run through a few speed tests. I'm actually using, I'm going to use the internal speed test is because uh, this would uh, negate any uh, Wi-Fi losses. If anyone is looking to purchase between omnidirectional antennas and LPDA antennas, I would suggest you to go to LPDA's antennas. But say for example, if you live uh, nearby a tower and you just need to bring the signals down to your room because there's I mean, in, in a very congested apartments, maybe you would not get better signals. So in that situation, yes, you could go for Omni. But uh, any other cases, I would still suggest you to go to LPDA. But the only disadvantage with LPDA is that if you're going to change the network, you would need to uh, change the direction of the antenna to, to the self tower in which uh, you're going to use. So that's something which is there. But Omni, it, it receives the signals throughout. So that's one advantage, but I would still suggest you to stick with LPDA for now. Uh, I have good hopes for the Yagi antenna. I'm going to upload a video shortly uh, after installing the Yagi antenna. If you have any questions, guys, do leave it in the comment section below. And if you like my video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.